Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video we are going to look at the unique command and sort command. So let's begin. So currently I am inside my home directory and inside the documents okay and inside it we have some files okay. So first of all let's talk about the unique command. Unique command is used to print the unique line. For example if you see the content of dup one then you will see this line is getting repeated okay similarly this line is getting repeated and this line is getting repeated okay now let's say that i want to view only the unique lines so i can write here unique okay then the name of the file so loop one okay so basically if the line is getting repeated again and again then the line will only be print only once okay similar like here if you see this line is getting repeated twice so this is written here only once similarly here is written two times but here it is written only one time same with the chandler here it is written three times but here it is written only one time okay now you can also specify the option as c which will tell you how many times a line has been repeated for example if i write here unique c and then do one then you will see this line has been written two times okay if you see the original file then you will see that this line is written two times okay similarly this is written two times so this is written two times here okay then this is one time this is one time this is one time this is one time and this is of three times so this is here is of three times so that is why here it is written three okay now by default it search for the line with the case sensitiveness okay for example if you see if i ignore the case sensitiveness then these two and these three lines basically are the same okay but because it is doing the case sensitive search so it is stating that these three lines are different okay but if you want to find the unique lines without considering the case then you can specify the option here i okay so now if you see here three is written because this line are getting same okay that is the reason here it is written three and ross is only written once right now let's say that i only want to print the duplicate lines okay so first let's again see the content of this file these are the contents and let's say i only want to print the duplicate lines so i can write here unique then specify the option as dash d okay now if i press enter you will see these are lines which are duplicated okay if you want for the case insensitiveness then you can specify here i option okay so now if you see ross is also coming okay so basically these lines are getting repeated in a file note that we are defining here file name but it can also take the input from the standard output of another command for example i can write here cat then i can specify the file name for example dup1 and then pipe character and then i can write here unique and then any option that I want to define let's say du for duplicate lines okay so we can also use with the pipe character okay now let's say that I only want to print the unique lines so here if you see here that this is our unique line and if I do the case sensitiveness then this is also the unique line this is also unique and this is also unique let's say that I only want to print the unique lines for that I can specify the option here unique and then give the option as u okay and then let's say the file name be dup1 okay now you will see only these lines or these unique lines are printing okay for the duplicate lines we are we were specifying here the option as d okay if you want the case insensitiveness then you can specify here i option then you will see there is only one line that is unique in this file but there is a one limitation of the unique command let me show it so let me open the dup2 file okay these are the contents okay now let's say i am using the unique command on it so dup2 okay now you will see that still joey and joey are printing here okay similarly ross and ross are matching here okay let me just give another option here dash c okay now you will see joey is coming three times but here it is saying joey is coming one time okay ross is two times and ross is one time so what actually is happening basically the unique command search for the adjacent line for example let's say the word was joey okay so it will first take this line and then it will search in the next line okay if it is matched then it will move further okay and if it is not matched then it will take the this word as an as a line to be searched and then try to search with the other line okay so basically when the word was joey then it was searching for the next line with the same word that was joey 
ओके सो इट वॉज गेटिंग मैच सो वी रीच टू द टू ओके देन इट अगेन मैच विद द अदर लाइन विद द सेम कॉन्टेंट सो वी रीच टू द थ्री ओके बट हेयर वैन इट इज सर्चिंग फॉर द एनदर लाइन देन इट इज नॉट मैचिंग विद द जोई ओके सो दैट इज द रीजन जोई इज कंसिडरिंग एज द न्यू एज अ एंटायरली यूनिक लाइन ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द यूनिक कमांड बट दिस एक्चुअली कैन बी सॉर्टेड आउट यूजिंग द शॉर्ट कमांड सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द शॉर्ट कमांड सो लेट मी फर्स्ट क्लियर इट एंड नाउ वी हैव वेरियस फाइल लेट से आर फर्स्ट फाइल इज द शॉर्ट वन ओके इफ यू सी द कॉन्टेंट दिस आर द कॉन्टेंट्स ओके सो आई कैन सिंपली राइट हेयर शॉर्ट देन द नेम ऑफ द फाइल लेट से शॉर्ट वन ओके एंड द कॉन्टेंट विल बी सॉर्टेड ओके नाउ बाय डिफॉल्ट द नंबर्स आर एट द टॉप प्रायोरिटी ओके देन देर आर द लोअर केस लेटर्स एंड देन देर आर द अपर केस लेटर बट रिमेंबर दैट वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द लेटर्स इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इफ देर आर लेट्स ए अदर लेटर्स लेट्स ए सी एंड देर आर डी देन वट विल बी द ऑर्डर सो द ऑर्डर विल बी इट विल बी लाइक सी देन देर विल बी कैपिटल सी ओके देन देर विल बी डी एंड देन देर विल बी एफ okay so if you see here then this is the way of ordering okay it's not like that first a smaller case letter will be there then there will be upper case letter okay for the particular letter it will go for its upper case letter okay then it will move to the next alphabet for example d okay so let me give you another example let's say the characters are q w q e and w okay and i'm also writing here uh, let's say q and then there is let's say capital e and then let's say r okay so after the sorting it would be something like then it will be e okay because the lower case have the higher priority you can say then there will be capital e then there will be q okay then there will be capital q then there will be capital r and then there will be w okay so this is how it is getting okay so don't get confused in that because most of the time people get confused in this logic okay so now if you see here that this was the our original content and this is our sorted content okay so first of all the numbers are getting sorted so the numbers are getting sorted here okay then you will see that d then after that it is capital d e then after that it is capital e similarly for the line let's say then it will be i know because it is before the m okay it is just like how the words are written in the dictionaries okay and then if you see between these two words then this is coming before and this is after that okay and since t is after the m either it is lower case or upper case that is the reason it is coming after the m okay any m then we have these words also which are getting sorted out okay so this is the how we use the sort command let me give some other options for it also so we can also specify the dash r option basically it will sort the things in the reverse order so if you see here everything which was previously the output it is printed in the reverse order now let's say that you want to sort the file that has the number inside of it okay so let's say the file is num sort okay if you see the numbers are present here and i want to sort it so for that you can specify here the option as n okay dash n and basically for the numbers okay so if i press enter you will see the numbers are getting sorted according to their value okay similarly if you want to sort it in the reverse order then i can write here r give the option here r then it is in the reverse order okay similarly let me give you an another example that is widely used so let's say the file is this one okay basically these are the ip address now i want to sort it so i can write here again sort and then dash n and then i will specify the file name let's say sort2 okay so these ip address has been sorted or sorted okay so dash n when you want to sort the numbers okay now there are other features of the sort commands also let me give you some example here so let's say our file is sort3 okay now you will see i had written here ip and with some domain name okay random domain name okay now let's say that you want to sort using this field okay so here it is white space if you see notice here this is the white space and here i am writing the some characters okay or some string we can see now i want to sort it using these strings okay or using the second field or second column we can see so what can i write here i can write here sort then then i can specify the option dash k and then which column so basically column start from one so this will be our first column and this will first column and first row okay this is our second row or first column so here i will specify that from for which column you want to sort okay so i want to sort using this column so i'll write here 
okay and then the name of the file that is the sort 3 okay so you will see the output has been sorted out with this column okay according to this column okay first we have a a then c then n then o then q okay so this is how it is getting sorted out but remember that sorting is done as like the words are written in a dictionary and when it comes to between the two alphabets for example if there is lowercase and uppercase for example lowercase b and uppercase b then there will be lowercase will be in higher precedent or higher priority so keep this point in mind okay now by default our sort command uses the white space as its field separator okay so for example if i write here if you see this file sort for basically both these files are same but here I am specifying here semicolon okay and now if I try to sort it with the same command then you will see it is not working why because the by default it is sorting for the space okay for now this is considering as the first field okay not as the accumulation or the combination of the two field that was happening before okay so now I want the sort command to use other field separator instead of the default one that was the space okay or white space we can say for that if you don't know then you can always refer the manual page let's say let me open it with the nano okay and if you want to quickly find it then you can write here f i e l d and then here it is the option that we have to specify dash t or we can specify this option okay so let me close it now so what i will do i will write the same command for the sort 4 file and now i will specify the dash t option also and i will give here the field separator as semicolon okay now you will see the output is getting sorted according to the field 2 okay or the column 2 okay let me give you another example let me first clear it then we have a file cat etc and let's say a password okay basically this file contains the information of the registered user in the system okay i will explain this file in detail in the later videos when we will talk about the users and uh, owners and other stuffs okay so right now let's say i want to sort it using this field okay so this will be our first field second field third field fourth and then fifth sixth and seventh okay and i want to use the colon instead of using the white space okay so i can write here cat then i can also use the sort command with the pipe character and then i can write here sort then dash k and the it was the seventh column and the field separator that i want to use is the semicolon okay so if i press enter now you will see everything is getting sorted out with this column name instead of seven i can also define here one to make it more easy to understand then you will see the first column is getting sorted out okay according line is getting sorted out according to the first column okay it is the line that is getting sorted out so you will see apt is coming first then there is aaa then after that we have the b words then c d like that okay so this is also how we can use this sort command so now let's clear it and let me again talk to about the problem that was having with the unique command okay so for that unique sort or oh sorry unique dope 2 so if you see here these line are treated as a different lines okay so to overcome it i can first let's say i will sort it okay so now if you see these line are coming back to back and similarly this line is coming back to back okay after that i will give the option here as unique okay using the pipe command so if you see now it is not showing the joey again and again that was happening here okay here it was showing joey two times but now it is not happening okay we can also give the unique dash d options so it will print me the duplicate line but i wanted to use the dash c option then you will see here that draws is three times and joey is four times okay but if i was not using the sort then you will see file name was d2 then you will see the joey is three times and one is different okay but here joey is four times so output coming from this command is acting as an input for this command okay so basically this which is the output for the sort command is acting for the input for the unique command okay after that it is performing its operation okay and since we have sort this file then all those lines which were present in the different line numbers are coming in the same line okay because we have performed the sort operation here okay another thing that instead of using these two option together you can also specify the option as sort dash u okay so sort dash u do the two things first of all it will sort the 
contents and then it will only print the unique lines okay so let's say let me give the file name as dup2 then you will see it is giving the desired output okay so it is for multiple duplicate lines it is only printing for one time and if the count is only one then also it is printing here okay now even though we can specify the sort dash u option but most of the time we use the unique and sort command parallelly okay because they are the unique has the other sets of options also for example dash d then there is dash c or there is dash u okay so to enjoy these options also we generally use this form okay but you can all always go this form also okay if it is required right if you are ever stuck you can always use the manual page or use the help option okay for example with the unique you can write here dash dash help so it will give you the various option associated with this command okay you can also use the info command man pages and dash h option okay as we had previously talked about it okay so there will be various other options related to these commands also okay for example there is uh, one option that is the dash m this option is used when you want to sort according to the month okay for example if there is written january march april september november and you want to sort it like january february march in this order then you can use this dash m option okay similarly there are other options also you can use the man page for that okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video